So, good morning. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, this is uh, a demonstration of, the, uh, of a type of coil shorting sort of experiment. These are two little uh, DC shunt type motors. They don't have magnets in them. They have field coils uh, as uh, stators and they have an, an ordinary brush type armature in there. And so we have uh, four wires. We have the, these, these two wires here go to the brushes of the armature and these two wires here go to the field coils which are in series, one on either side of the motor. This motor over here is identical but it's just, its wires are not hooked up to anything, it's just a mechanical load uh, for what I want to demonstrate. So um, here's the plus lead from the power supply, 30 volt DC power supply, and here's the minus lead that I'll be hooking up in a moment. So right now the way I have it wired is, let's see here, you can see it a little bit better. Remember these are the armature wires and these are the field coil stator wires. So uh, in to the armature, brushes to the commutator, back out, and then in to the field coil, back out, and then here's where I'll connect the black power supply, oops, sorry, black uh, negative lead of the power supply. And then I also have um, this uh, this is a 6 amp fast diode here and this is uh, just a shorting jumper that I'll use to connect from here to here which as you can see uh, shorts the field coils if I connect from here to here that simply shorts the field coils through the diode and it also provides a current path uh, essentially around or in parallel to the field coils to the negative terminal of the power supply. Okay, so the uh, in normal running the oops, sorry about that the armature and the field coils are in series, strict series, and then the experimental demonstration that I'm going to do will be shorting the field coil through the diode or sometimes not through the diode uh, with this yellow jumper wire here. Okay, so let's see what happens. So first I'll just hook up the black pole of the battery to the negative side and you can see that uh, we have a good amount of rotation there. It's definitely turning. Now I'll take the jumper and if I just do a good short you can see that it just does what you expect. The thing actually kind of locks in position there. Breaks to a hard stop. And that happens on either side of the diode. But if I take and just tickle the diode in the right way you can see that that uh, really gets things going. If I make it a dead short though and try to tickle it from this end, nothing happens. Okay. So let's try this now. Here I have uh, an automotive brake light bulb. This is uh, 1156 brake light bulb connected to uh, some jumper leads. So if I use the brake light bulb and then connect that 
for the diode. I get that. And if I disconnect the power, now I can connect the power. Yeah, like that. But is the diode actually necessary here? Let's see. Bypassing the diode. It actually runs faster with the diode. I guess you can tell by the sound of the motor that it runs faster when the diode is connected. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching.